on the other side. To get off my platform. Don't be so bloody touchy. I'm bloody touching you if you don't get off. I haven't done anything. You are calling me rude names. All I did was call you Gunga Din. You've done it again. Get off. Look, I'm not getting off this bus. Stop behaving like a hooligan and get off. You shut your trap, you old rat bag. How dare you? I've never been so insulted in my life. Well, that's your fault. You don't get about enough. Please, please, we want no more trouble. She is the one who's causing trouble. And all the same, her sort. Toppy nose twit. Expect she's a housewife as well. And what if I am? But he shouldn't be on this bus in the first place. This is for the workers. All right, get off. Watch it, Harry Baba. Again, you are insulting me. Not an inch. This bus is moving unless you are getting off. That's what you think. <laughs> You have done it! The driver's coming round to have words! Well, let him come round. I'll soon bloody sort him out. Hello, hello, hello. What's the trouble then? This passenger is insulting me and won't get off the bus. Oh, well, that can soon be settled very amicably. The gentleman will apologise, won't you? It's a big, pretty big school, that one. Could be um, like a primary school or something. See the building behind me. Open public school. Look, some people might find this boring. Some people might find this boring, but it's actually that. Some people might find this boring, but just to have a look and uh, to do that, to do that search for that home and to. To, you know, I actually, I was expecting the house to be there. Really, I was expecting the house to be there. And if it was, whether there'll be a, something on it or, um, you know, if it's recognisable or something like that. And I don't know. I, I don't know. Could have been knocked down for a reason. Could have been knocked down for a reason because they wanted to build either shops, which, which are down there. And then you've got these kind of... Um, like it's a church and then you've got scores. Score there. Score there. Number 92, which is there. 92. See how close can you get? 92. That's number 92. Look, I will post it. I'll post this now, like very soon. There's 92. There's a, uh, it's like a church there. That's, uh, you know, the general local church. Um, not a Catholic church, but it looks like a Christian church. Doesn't say anything there. It just says um, Church of Christ. So that's, uh, I guess, yeah, Church of Christ. And so then, number 90 there. Number 90. And then there's those shops up here. Who knows? Who knows what's been going on around here? Like in all these years, there's a church of Christ there. I just want to show you, and then that just shows you that's nine A. So, funny, isn't it? You go through all this. You go through all this. Nice too. And then where's one? You you think it's on the other side of the road? You see it's on the other side of the road, but I'll tell you what, 98, okay, okay, um, okay, uh, I must be a bit hot here, or hot-headed or something, let's go back, go back, see how close we are, it, it'd have to be on this side, it'd have to be on this side, the 90, so you go back to 90, okay, that looks like a nice little shack, you know, you can probably do something to that. Nice little shake. I'm sorry if I'm putting that there. I oh, know it says keep out for it, but it looks nice. Okay, uh, so what's here? Right oh, here, look. This doesn't make sense. Is that number one? Unit 188. Okay. 88. So we're going down. It's like we're going down the wrong way again. See? It's like we're going down the wrong way. 86. 86. I wonder if the school took, took its place or this metro or something. This one, I don't know what this number is. I don't know. I don't know. 
Number 84. Going back the other wrong way again. If only we knew where that spot was, then um, now it would be good because I can uh, show it on the video. But if only we knew, and then I can show you all where exactly where uh, this was filmed, uh, this show was filmed in Australia. But right now I'm struggling to find it. I've been up and down this road, and it's a long road. A few times, uh, I rec kind of recognised the street when I walked, uh, when I did walk and drove down the other side, but oh, I'm lost for words. Now I'm going back past this 92 building. Interesting that it seems so close, but yet there's a close shop there. Number 90. Look, why is that number? Okay, okay, number 92. Oh, let's go to the next building. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, number 92. Okay, what's this all about then? <laughs> okay, so we're going back up here. Residence cars. Oh, hang on. Residence cars. No parking. Strictly no parking. You can't open the gate anyway. But look, there's a building down there, look. This seems like an older building. Interesting. But it, would, it wouldn't be um, part of Auburn Road because it's kind of off the road and that will be at a garage. I just saw that building and it just interested me. I saw that number. Oh, is it number 94? And the kids' shoes. <laughs> and then number 94 again. Number 94. Back up here again. And then this one. I don't know what number that is. I'll find out. Oh, that's good. She had some great watermelons, that's good. So, um, she told me that um, uh, the number the number 101 is down the other side. See, so I don't know what that number is. This is. But it's some place where they do some karate or something. Okay, so now a little, a little uh, a test here. See, there's 102, right? So why are they doing this to me? 102. And you've got that college on the other side, do you remember? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Can't be anything like it here because you don't see those type of, uh, I'm not seeing those type of buildings. So now I'm going back to the car. The woman who sold the watermelons told me that, um, oh, I did mention to her, it's a famous place, but I don't think she has a, an idea, but she told me that it's right down the other side, down here, towards the shops again, but past the uh, roundabout, and that's what her navigator said, so let's go. Okay, just want to show you this, with that building again, remember, 149, college, it's a big college that one. Aussie flag, yeah. And then on the other side, it's like a kind of medical centre thing. So 108, and that's like a, um, could be a solicitor, medical centre, which is number 106A. Uh, it could well be here, it could have well been here before. And they may have knocked it down because, you know, so there's, a, there's a large set of units. So that could have been it, right? Couple of trees there, and then that 10 doesn't make sense. Should be on this side. There's 102 there, and then. But let me go back down the other that way towards the shops, like that woman said, and find out. But that could be it. And <laughs> I don't know. You know, maybe maybe someone let there knows in the comments. Someone that can tell us in the comments there. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, save your cash here. Yeah. Carbon neutral. Okay. 
Whatever that is. Okay, don't break down. This is, see, see where that dentist is? It's a Turkish dentist. There's a dentist there, someone bid there because um, he knows we're recording. <laughs> uh, and then um, that guy that I just spoke to earlier, they said, oh, he knows, he knows Love Island Airborne. He goes, oh, that show, yeah. So, oh, look guys, look, look guys, home ice cream. Here at home ice cream. He waved, he waved. The, the best ice cream ever. The best ice cream. And I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> okay, if you got your kids, come on down to Auburn. That ice cream um, is a mobile ice cream. And it's going all the way down. So some, some of them play really nice music. Like, you know, the, the candy music and or the lollipop music or something. He's got a bell there, so it's kind of an old style thing. How good is that? So when you hear that bell, you know you're ready to go. Look guys, look, look guys, home ice cream. Here at home ice cream. He waved, he waved. The, the best ice cream ever. The best ice cream. And I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> okay, so I thought I found some cut, like a couple of spots down there. A bit further down that we, we looked at. Down there. And, uh, and it goes up and down, the road goes up and down a bit. Then I went over there to the, where the shops are, that area, and we were very close, like 100 something, we were close. And then there's that college across the road. Um, and then that set of units. So where's 101? Huh? Where's 101? What? It's not even on the map. So I had a look and um, I'm actually surprised it's not even on the map. Okay, I'm going to do something funny now. I'm a good driver. Red light and speed camera ahead. Red light and speed camera. I'm not speeding, I'm not speeding. I'm not getting any donuts. I'm just going through the car park. I'm doing the right thing, I'm doing the right thing. Turn left onto Dartbrook Road, then at the roundabout. No. Take the first exit no, onto no. Simpson Street. No, I'm not listening to you. No. I'm not listening to you. You're wrong, you're wrong. Couldn't even find 101. Okay, let's see if this will. Oh, I've still got to go left, didn't I? Well, I did something. <laughs> I did something wrong again. We'll get there in a minute. Home. <laughs> at the traffic lights, turn left onto Station Road. Then at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Simpson Street. Oh yeah, yeah, that way, that way, that way. That'll do. In 300 meters, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Simpson Street. It's funny that, isn't it? Funny. I actually thought about going to the uh, second-hand markets on the weekend. Why are you sitting over there, Pa? Because Eddie wants to be near his mirror. Oh. Hey, where have you been? Eddie goes every Sunday morning <coughs> down the street market, indulging in his stupid hobby. My hobby's not stupid. <laughs> well, what is it? Crime. But <laughs> you mean you go around the market stealing? No, 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 no. He collects items to do with famous crimes. Now then, 
What treasure have you acquired this time? Oh, I've got some beauties this morning. Sorry. Hey, you remember the Battersea Axe murderer, don't you? What, the geezer that chopped his wife up on the table? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. I've got one of the legs. <laughs> no, one of his legs. <laughs> It's a beauty. It only cost me one pound fifty. One pound fifty for a table leg. <coughs> now that's what I call a real bargain, Jack. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's because I've got this dealer. You see, he keeps an eye out for me. You mean he sees you coming? <laughs> no, he's an expert on crime. He certainly is. <laughs> You've heard the famous bribes of the bath murder, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. What about it? The actual plug from the actual bath. <laughs> Two quid. Two quid. I don't know how he does it at the price. That's the door. Look here. Yeah, a pair of handcuffs. <coughs> yeah, but they're not an ordinary pair of handcuffs. <coughs> These were specially made by Scotland Yard to apprehend none other than the famous Dr. Crippin. Don't talk a lot of rubbish. They're just all the Metropolitan Police handcuffs. Yeah. How do you know? How do I know? Because when I got nicked up... Never mind about it, I know! I know! <laughs> well, you're wrong, see? Look, if you look at these carefully, you'll see one handcuff is slightly bigger than the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah, what does that mean? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? The big one's for the famous Dr. Crippin, and the small one's for his girlfriend, <laughs> the beautiful Ethel the Nev. Oh, God, What a load of old rubbish. <laughs> I'll prove. I'll prove it to you. Who's got a big fat wrist? Out of way. Hey, come on, Bill. You can be Dr. Crippin. <laughs> How can he be Dr. Crippin? He's the wrong colour. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, but I'm the one most likely to commit a murder, though. <laughs> Who's going to be the beautiful Ethel the Nev? Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's you then, Eddie. You've got a nice thin wrist there. Yeah, it goes with his big fat head. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, there's your proof. Look, it's a perfect fit. A perfect twit, if you ask me. All right, you've proved your point. Now, take these things off. They make me nervous. Me too. Sure. You what? <laughs> Let's have the key and get them off. What key? <laughs> what key? The key to the handcuffs, dopey. I didn't buy a key, just the handcuffs. <laughs> hang on, hang on, son. Let me get this right. Now, you try to tell me that you've no way of unlocking these things. None that I know of, no. And you intend that I should stay handcuffed to Sambo here? <laughs> Hard luck, Ethel. <laughs> It looks like you and me are hitched together for life, eh? I now pronounce you man and beast. <laughs> All right. We'll soon see about that, Nobby. What do you want? Have you got axe saw? I have. Let's have it, son. Hitched together for life, are we? What are you going to do? We're going to get divorced, that's what. You're not going to saw through my handcuffs. I bloody am. You are not. Those belong to my collection. They're part of my black museum. Oh, no offence, Matt Bill. <laughs> all right, all right. Let it not be said that Eddie Booth is an unfair man. I'll buy them for you. 50p. They cost me two quid. Two quid? You ought to put that deal in the black museum as a bigger crook than Crippin. <laughs> all right, two quid it is. And then there's me profit. I'll take a tenner. A tenner? I'll take it and leave it. Well, at least Dick Turpin wore a mask. <laughs> All right, I tell you it is. Come on, you, let's get them off. Tommy, give us the axe or some. Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> Nobby, there's no blade to this axe or. <laughs> That's how you brought it back. The last time you borrowed it. <laughs> it looks as though you've had it, Eddie. Well, there must be something we can do. Yeah, wait a minute, now, there's my mate, Fingers Ferguson. He's very good at locks. Ah, Fingers Ferguson. Will he be coming in? Certainly, when he's finished what he's doing. Uh, what is he doing? 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't hang around you all, dear. Oh, come here. We've got to sort it out. Look, I'm going to be hey, late wait, to my wait, dinner. Wait a minute. Now, this Don't reminds me of a certain picture about two convicts. There was Tony Curtis and this black geezer. What's his name? I was talking about films. I think I'm going potty. That's him. <laughs> Sidney Potty. <laughs> potty, Sidney Potty. I don't know who's the potty. You or somebody? <laughs> Look, you watch it, honky. I still have one good fist left, you know. That's all right. Come on, lads. Let's have your glasses, please. Thank you. Well, I'm going to scrap them, because you're going to kill me if I don't do this garden with all the weeds and cattle. I'll see you later, I ain't gardening. <laughs> well, mastermind. Well what? Well what? Come here. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a good idea if you nipped down to that market and got a key to unlock these handcuffs? 
I've got a better idea. I nip down to the market and see if I can get a key for them ankles. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Brilliant, brilliant. Hey, Eddie, if I get a key, where will I find you? I shall be here, Jacko. Right. Oh, Bill, where will you be? <laughs> <laughs> Just look for Eddie and you're sure to find me, Jacko. Right, go. So, that's that part of it. Part one. I might have to do it in a few stages. And I didn't think I was going to do this, but... Um, it might be a good thing. Uh, so that we can try and find the location. So, um... And then we can find the other locations. The thing is... The thing is, why wasn't it even there? Why well, wasn't it even there? Just, you know, a number. And we had to go all the way down one, one end and then the other end. Yeah, baffles me. <laughs> but we tried it. We tried, we can, we can try it again. We can probably track down someone that's lived there for a long time and then they can tell us what's, what happened down there. That's the only thing, but um, yeah, I'm I'm surprised. Oh well, this is the first episode done then, and I hope it wasn't boring, and and I hope you enjoyed it because I'm I'm just trying to find this one building. And I'm trying to explain to some people that it was famous. I'm just saying it was a famous place. And there were famous people here. Uh, that um, And a very popular show that was, uh, uh, you know, um, a very popular worldwide TV show. And yet, I couldn't find the building. <laughs> anyway... If anyone happens to know of the whereabouts of the building, um, I can try and get as close to it as I can, <laughs> if it's there or if it's around there, and um, uh, just show you the area um, in you know the area in which they filmed, or approximately approximately the area, and then uh, a couple of. If there were some parks or pubs there, because I know there, I think they did film at the Auburn RSL Club, which I think is still there. So uh, what I can do is um, take a ride to that area and show you that that spot too, so we know where you can uh, see where where they were doing their recordings and things. So uh, it's good to find these places, but just very hard to track down today I couldn't find even 101 why are they showing 101 Auburn Road why are they even advertising it on the on the internet telling you that they were filmed it there and yet there I couldn't seem to find a 101 Auburn Road all the way up and down that road which is a really long road I couldn't find it I could not find it I thought I was very close but you know, I had a feeling it could have been near the sets of shops. Um, it could have been on the other side. Um, and then, no, nah, I don't have a clue now. Anyway, this is it. Finished for part one. And um, I hope we can try and uh, locate the areas in which they filmed. Love thy neighbour in Australia. Bye for now. Love thy neighbour Walk up and say how be ya Gee, but I'm glad to see a pal house tricks What's new? Love thy neighbour Great deal easier, life will be breezier if you love.
love thy neighbor. I'm getting rushed to that. Excuse me, cock. No, I speak English. <laughs> Would you believe it? More bloody foreigners here than in London. I had a board that says South Auburn Club or RSL Club or something. So I don't think it ever existed. So it'd be nice to see some comments to see if people do know. Uh, very, very interesting, actually. Um, just had a look at the different types of clubs um, online, but I haven't actually gone to have a look. You know, maybe the place where they recorded it uh, with the um, machines in the background, as you can see, the old types, type of um, the, the gambling machines or the um, you know the uh, those those type of machines that you used in the old days to, to gamble all your money away. Those are the really old machines, and um, yeah, none of those places have those now, of course, but. Um, I, look, I looked at that and I thought, oh, look, it looks like there's a badge. You can see something in the background, a frame of some sort of club. And um, you can see, possibly, possibly that is. I'm not saying it is. Um, and you can see, you know, the bar, of course, the, 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 the bar, you know. Um, it's really hard to see whether it's a pub. So I'll, I'll do, I'll look around a little bit and, um, see if we can we can try and make heads or tails of it i don't know but i'm in i'm in within the area now there are a few clubs around here i can just spot some of them and just take images of them and kind of show you what i can see and um but the main thing on this one to, uh, at the moment is me walking down that that road and um i'll, I'll take you to the place where i i know exactly where it is now because, believe it or not, oh, God knows on that first episode how many times I walked past it. And you can see it right there on the um, previews as well. You can see it right there. I don't know if you've seen it, but yes, it's right there on the previews, and I'm not going to say it's, it's... See, people live at this house, and it's not easy to um, go by numbers and say, look, this is where they live. You just have to look it up, and you can see it, you know, but um, you kind of feel sorry for them because this house is a very popular house, and um, don't want to, you know... You know, go in there like a crazy person. Oh, so uh, this is it. So what we're going to do there is just go there. We will sit down in the park. Now, I showed you last week um, the the street in which I was in, and then there's a park. Or, there's a park there. If you watch the beginning, I can show you now. Watch the beginning of uh, Life Our Neighbour in Australia. On most each and every seven episodes, um, you'll see what's going on there. There's a there's a park, and then opposite you can see the houses, which is um, something that confused me last week when I saw all these, all well, this this kind of area, and then I went down the other side, and there was I couldn't find a number. The number doesn't exist, so I was looking in the wrong area, but I was in the right area. I was actually in the right area, but looking for the wrong number. So it's definitely not in this shop sides, because I was looking here too, how silly I was. I went past the school, which is here. There's a big public school here. A big bookstore, um, Domino's Pizza. We went past all that last time. We went past it. And we went past all those houses down there as well. So there are too many of them and um, I missed it. I went straight past it and missed it. So this is it guys, this is it. This is it. Remember when I, was, when I was in my little room there and I stood up 
<laughs> but I'm going to walk down there and see if anybody has any memories. You can cut out all the, all the things and just look at this. Okay, oh, I'll be back.